Alright y'all, for this double crochet dishcloth we are using number 4 medium worsted weight yarn in cotton and a 5 millimeter US size H8 crochet hook. Now this dishcloth comes in three sizes, so if you want to work an 8 inch wide dishcloth you're only going to chain 30, for 10 inch 37, and for 12 inch 44 chains to get started. Now we'll double crochet into the third chain. I'm going to turn it over here and work in the back bump. So I'll yarn over and insert my hook in the third chain. The skipped ones won't count as a stitch. Yarn over again and pull that loop up and through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two to complete the first double crochet. And those turning chains don't count and then you're going to double crochet in each chain across the row. Okay, here we are on our last chain, which ends with the slip knot and our yarn tail, and we're at the end of our row of double crochets. So then we'll turn our work and start row 2. Okay, to start a row you can start with the chain 3 or you can use this chain 3 alternative I'm doing here. Then we'll double crochet in the top of each stitch in the row. Okay, here at the end, remember that the skip chains from our starting chain don't count as a stitch, so we're not going to work into those. Turn your work, and then we'll start our row again with a chain 3, or the chain 3 alternative. And then we're just doing a repeat of row 2 here. So for the rest of your dishcloth, you are just working double crochet rows. Until your dishcloth is 8, 10, or 12 inches tall, to add a border, we're going to chain one and turn and work along this edge here. We're going to see single crochet evenly down the side until we reach the next corner. Now we're working into the side of the stitches here, so we'll be putting about two single crochets per double crochet stitch. When you reach the next corner, you're going to put a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, all in the same spot. And then we're going to turn and work along the bottom edge. Okay, along the bottom edge, I worked in the back bump, which means that these look just like a stitch. I have two strands of yarn here to work under easily and we're going to put single crochets in each one until we get to the next corner and then we'll do the same thing. We'll add a chain one, a single crochet, a chain one and a single crochet all in the same corner stitch or spot and then we'll turn and work back up that other edge. Okay, here we are at the next corner. I have one stitch in so I chain one and place another single crochet in that same stitch. And we'll continue working single crochet stitches evenly into the sides of our double crochet rows, placing two single crochets per double crochet row. At our next corner, we'll place our single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Then we'll be able to turn our work and we'll just be working single crochets into the top of our last row of double crochets. So it's super easy peasy and adding the single crochet border really helps neaten up our edges on this dishcloth. At our last corner, we will be slip stitching to the first stitch we made 
Remember to add your single crochet, chain one single crochet in the corner to keep it pointy. And then we'll cut our yarn and weave in our ends. I hope you enjoyed this super simple double crochet dishcloth pattern.